Okay guys, here I am. Um, right now in the background, okay, it's, first of all it's morning, 5.46 my time, I'm on my way to work. Uh, in the background this morning. So this is an album, I think it's pretty darn good and I would say close to perfect. I, I don't, there's not a song on here that I dislike, but this is, this album is uh, the 1994 album uh, from The Wedding Present, which is a UK band, um, and the album is, is called Watusi. So, uh, I don't know much about this band. I, I've been doing my homework, and, and in the past I've familiarized myself with some of their albums. Um, this is not their most uh, heralded album or uh, best-selling album, probably. Um, but it was an album that was, I think, more specifically marketed towards the U.S. And uh, Steve Fisk, uh, who worked with Nirvana, uh, was the producer of this album. And I like I like the production. It's it's slick, but it's not like over the top. And uh, it's a, it's dry. It's, it's very even. I, I don't know how to, you know, describe the tone of the album, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's. Do we? I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it musically. It's not Nirvana. Uh, it's, it's. I, I think they make a really good use of melody uh, as a band. Um, good songwriting. Um, David Gedge is the only uh, constant member of this band and they formed in, in Leeds uh, UK in 1985 um, maybe maybe that information's wrong I just I quickly looked at Wikipedia yep uh, anyway like I said this album is really good so how I stumbled upon, upon this album I was I was a college student in, in 1995 and um, had a copy of an of a Christian music magazine uh, that I got at Cornerstone Festival, and uh, which, if if anybody out there is familiar with Cornerstone at all, it, it used to be. It's no longer in existence, but for many years it was a uh, Christian music festival. Uh, but. At the same time, uh, you know, they had acts like Charlie Daniels, I'm trying to think of who else would have been an example of, uh, you know, Vigilantes of Love, which were kind of a Christian band, kind of not, I don't know. I, I, I hate to talk that way, because bands are bands, and if you like them, you like them. Whether they're, they make specifically Christian or obscurely Christian music or whatever. Um... There is a there is a similar fest. There, I I, I want to say it's still in existence. I could be wrong. I, I could be very wrong. Uh, called there's a uh, UK version called Greenbelt. But anyway, uh, maybe Greenbelt is. I think Greenbelt is just like musicians that have some kind of faith connection or something. Anyway. Uh, like I know, like the Proclaimers were there in the 80s and, and other people. Uh, Proclaimers are freaking awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm totally rambling. Okay. Uh, this is uh, a really good album. And sometimes it's just it's just a little bit droney, which I like kind of the droniness of it. Like this song. It just carries on forever, it seems like. And I love it. So this this band, at least on this album, I've heard some of their uh, other music, and it's not quite as, I would say, aggressive as this album, uh, in, in the distortion and all this stuff. Uh, so, at least this album, they kind of remind me a little bit of um, uh, the Dream Syndicate, and uh, I really like uh, 
the Dream Syndicate's uh, Days of Wine and Roses is one of my favorite albums. I'd, I'd place it higher than this album. Um, but only by a hair. I really like this album. It's just It just probably wouldn't make the cut of my favorite albums of all time. It just might be like a hair below. Um, I, I do love this album, though. I, I don't want to... I'm, I'm sure the more I give it a listen... So I'm rambling, I'm totally rambling, and I, I saw this album advertised, and it's got such an attractive cover. I mean, it's so dated and so 90s, but it's so attractive. And uh, it, it's, it, it lured me in, and I'm like, oh, okay, this, this album looks really interesting. I wanna hear this, you know, and I never heard the band, right? So I never, I didn't just buy the album hoping to, I must have sampled something or downloaded something before I actually